All right guys, what's going on? Linky here. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about Noble Pokemon. Now this class of Pokemon was introduced in the previous Pokemon Legends Arceus trailer. And these are Pokemon that dwell in a central domain in the Hisui region, who are almost protectors of nature, protectors of the environment. They are respected throughout the land. And not only by Pokemon, they are respected by the people that also inhabit this land. Now, what can we learn from Noble Pokemon and their reveal? And how does it connect to the modern Pokemon? Pokemon world. Let's discuss it. Now, as it states on Pokemon Legends Arceus' website, noble Pokemon are ones that have been blessed with a particular power and ability. Now, it doesn't come out and say where this ability comes from, but we can garner that it's from Arceus, which would lead you to think Arceus is the, I guess, the most noble Pokemon in the Hisui region. Now, the problem, and this is where the plot of Legends Arceus comes in, is that for some reason, a lot of these noble Pokemon are beginning to become enraged. They are fighting the humans that are trying to move into the Hisui region. They are impacting the nature and the natural world of Hisui. And it's your job not only to build a Pokedex in Legends Arceus, but you are also looking into how to quell the anger and rage of these noble Pokemon. Now that's all well and good, and there's a lot of story pieces that we can garner from this entire gameplay arc, but what I want to get to more is what noble Pokemon could tell us about the history of the Pokemon world, and possibly how we've gotten to the modern Pokemon world that we see today. Now, first of all, I think it's important to note that we have not seen a lot of legendary Pokemon in Legends just yet. We obviously know that Arceus is the central piece to this whole story. We know that we're probably going to encounter him at a certain point, and he's going to be the crux of our adventure. But we haven't seen any of the other mythicals or legendaries that call Hisui and eventually modern-day Sinnoh home. We haven't seen Yuxi, Azelf, or Mesprit, Dialga, Palkia, Darkrai, Cresselia, Heatran, Garatina. None of these Pokemon have been seen. We haven't seen the Regis, and we presume that a lot of these guys are going to be in the game. And it's interesting that we haven't seen them yet. Because listen, we know they're there, we know their locations on the map, we know what their roles are in the Pokemon world. But a lot of these mythical Pokemon's roles are very similar to what noble Pokemon are. Noble Pokemon, as it says on the website and as they talked about in the trailer, hold a domain in the region. There's a, a forest or a river system, or maybe a plains biome, or a mountainous region. And there is a Pokemon that calls that land home, and it is this is its domain. It protects the Pokemon, probably, that live in this region with it. It probably keeps the area safe from invaders or foreigners that might not are not supposed to be there. And foreigners, in this example, are us, the people who are coming into Hisui. There's been a lot of videos speculating as to what the story of Pokemon Legends Arceus might be, and I think that one of the best speculated ideas is that Arceus is enraged with humans spreading into the Hisui region. We know that there's going to be less people, less settlements, less overall human life in this region when we're there, as opposed to the future, but maybe Arceus is enraged and these noble Pokemon are enraged because we are moving into natural territory. This could create a natural setup of a conflict between Pokemon and people, and lead to the player character and the galactic team having to grapple with the implications of pushing into such a, a powerful region full of lore and history and legendary Pokemon like Arceus and the mythical Mount Coronet. All of this together could present a really interesting story as to how man and Pokemon originally started to get along. And there's a couple factors that they list on the website that I think contribute to this theory. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video, for some reason, aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and it'll show me that you guys are enjoying these Legends Arceus videos and that you want to see more in the future because we got a ton to talk about. Now, with that being said, let's jump right back into the discussion. I think it's really interesting how Pokemon battles are being presented in this game. We've seen from a couple bits on the website that Pokemon battles are not common. Now, we're talking trainer battles, of course. You fighting with a Pokemon against a tr another trainer with a Pokemon. It's not common in Hisui. This is not something that we're seeing happen a lot, but it is starting to happen more. We've seen a couple screenshots. I don't know if these are officially revealed. There's been a couple leaked screenshots in the last few days of what appears to be a trainer battle. You, your player character, and the starter against one of the lords. Lords, not lords. Wardens in Legends Arceus, and you guys are fighting. So Pokemon battles against trainers are going to be in this. But they've made a very important point to notice that in this game, it's wild Pokemon, and it's you. 
trainer battles, some of the modern amenities of the Pokemon world. They're not really at play. These are things that are constantly evolving and constantly changing, and it appears that this is something new for Hisui to grapple with. This is all to say that humans are trekking into Hisui more than they ever have, and that could contribute to why Arceus is so enraged and contribute, as I said before, to why the noble Pokemon are enraged. But let's move forward into the future. Let's assume that, you know, you kind of, you make your peace with Arceus. He's okay with everyone chilling in here. You resolve your problems. You beat the story. Everyone's good at the end because this is a Pokemon game. That's kind of how it's going to end. When we go into the future, noble Pokemon don't exist. There are not Pokemon that have domain over certain regions, not specifically. There are a couple, but they're very distinct. And the three Pokemon in Sinnoh that seem to have that moniker are the Lake Trio, Azelf, Yuxi, and Mesprit. They are the guardians of these lakes. They are the protectors of the Pokemon that live in these lake regions. They are the protectors of the lakes themselves as they hold importance in the Pokemon world and to the lore of creation in Pokemon. And Azelf, Yuxi, and Mesprit are intertwined with emotion and well-being and mindfulness of humans and of Pokemon in the world. Arceus and Lore created these Pokemon to basically give off the traits that we would eventually see as normal in creatures. They're very integral parts of Pokemon lore, and I think you could make an interesting argument that they are modern noble Pokemon. And maybe this whole idea of noble Pokemon, maybe it's something that humans have dubbed, this is where it begins. This is where the understanding of the role of Pokemon in a, in a natural environment begins to take shape. You are discovering what Pokemon do in the world. Pokemon aren't just wild animals that live and go wherever they please. They create homes, settlements, they have communities, and there are leadership roles in those communities. There's hierarchies. These Pokemon are guarding this area. They're protecting others. That's what noble Pokemon are. Now, in Legends Arceus, they are blessed, apparently, by what we're all assuming is Arceus, as I mentioned earlier. Mesprit, Yuxi, and Azelf are... They were created by Arceus. There's a lot of really interesting lore connections between them and Arceus and the mythos of the Sinnoh region in modern times. So maybe this is all one common thread. And I would be really interested to see what these mythical Pokemon's role is in Legends, if they're even going to be there. Now we've seen on the map that the lakes are there. They're a little bit different, of course, as is most of Sinnoh, but they're there. So what role will they play? Will we even encounter them? And if we do, what connection will they have to various noble Pokemon that we've seen so far? There is a side note in that noble Pokemon appear that they're all going to be brand new Pokemon, brand new Hisui forms or evolutions, which is really nice. It gives us a cool way to integrate a gameplay feature with us getting new Pokemon, new guys on the roster, new guys to add to our team. That's great. So I wonder how they're going to ultimately handle all of this in Legends Arceus. It's going to be really exciting, and I would love to know what you guys think. What do you think of the noble Pokemon concept? And do you think that my little mini theory in this video is correct, that maybe noble Pokemon do continue into the modern age, but it's not as they were in Legends, and maybe Yuxi, Azelf, and Mesprit are part of that lineage. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. It does a ton to show me that you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more. With that being said, I have been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.